Today we're going to show you how to beat the double Mabel meta, and I think one of the best zone beaters in Madden 24, and really Madden every single year, and it's in probably every single one of your playbooks. It is gun bunch verticals. This could be verts half back under, this could be verticals, this could be verticals half back under, this could be pats, verts, whatever. We're looking for verticals, we're actually looking for one route in particular, and that is the crossing route to the slot receiver. We're going to show you in this video how this route, when you use it properly with some certain motions and stuff, is going to be able to consistently attack a 30-yard cloud flat on the sideline. It's going to force your opponent to do different adjustments to slow your offense down. Now, if you want to get my entire Jets offensive ebook, we're in the Jets playbook today. I have a full gun bunch offensive ebook in the Patreon. We actually base that out of West Coast, but you can apply a lot of the principles to the Jets playbook. And we're actually working on updating our Jets ebook as well with other complementary formations such as this bunch. So if you want to get access to all of that stuff, join the Patreon. $10 will get you access to everything in the Patreon, including all the updates to the ebooks, everything for just $10. So if you want to sign up, link is going to be down below. Let's talk about this concept. So first things first, um, I am going to run this against a 30 yard cloud flat. Now, uh, just for sake of illustration, we're going to spy the D line so we don't get any fluky sheds in practice mode. We know how fluky practice mode is with the sheds. But the beauty of this is this crossing route, when we run this with our bunch to the short side of the field, this is one of the best crossing routes in Madden for attacking a 30 yard cloud. So the key secret that we want to be able to do is we want to motion this outside bunch or the solo receiver inside and we want to put him on a streak. And what you're going to see is this crosser, if we free form it or pass lead it up into the sideline, will attack a 30 yard cloud flat consistently as you can see. Now, what if they are in a cover four defense and they baseline and press you? If they're in a cover four defense, I would say this is probably the best counter uh, to what we're about to show you. And this is one of the reasons why motioning this guy in can be helpful uh, for this crosser. So what you'll see right here, here's cover four drop. Now notice because we uh, actually, when we run this to the short side, you see the cover four can actually do a decent job at defending to the wide side. Let's show it, um, let me show it to you like this. If they're ever pressing up, that is kind of your cue that there's probably not a 30 yard cloud flat on the field. It's probably a cover four, or cover three. So if we just use a standard clear out streak, now what I'm doing is I'm not free forming it, I'm pass leading it down and I'm trying to catch the ball before I get in contact with that outside defender. So here's your kind of cue for this, this, uh, this, this play. If they are backed off at the snap of the ball, that is your cue that it is likely going to be a defense like this, a double Mabel defense where we're utilizing uh, two hook curls underneath potentially, one being the user defender, and you're going to get a three-man rush. This is kind of the standard way people are going to defend this. So when we see this, this is where we love to motion this guy in and put him on the streak because it's going to help clear out the deep half a little bit better to provide a better window for us to be able to hit this crosser over the top. And again, the biggest key with this is we're running this with our bunch to the short side of the field. It provides more space for your crosser to get over the top of a 30 yard cloud. Now, a couple other keys can make this play a true nightmare for your opponent to defend. And it really comes down to understanding the different types of coverages that you're probably going to see. And there's really two meta zone ways to play. Either A, you're going to play like this where we're rocking the cover four. If you're seeing this coverage, my recommendation uh, would be to leave this outside player on the outside. We're going to put him on a streak. And then we're going to provide routes around this that are going to do a good job of attacking any kind of you know check down. So what we're going to do is we are going to uh, put our tight in on a drag so that we can attack the flat on that side. We're going to put the outside bunch receiver on a curl and we're going to put the running back on an in route. This simple route combination is essentially a Y cross style of route combination. And what you're going to see is now we are fully equipped to be able to attack cover four with this basic concept. The other thing that we're able to do with this is they have to use the crosser. So because they have to use the crosser, it's going to take one of their defenders out of the middle of the field. So what we'll see here is this is where we want to provide some basic options. You can put the tight on an in route or a drag, whatever you want. 
But what you'll see here is now our curl can be a great check down uh, over there on the right hand side, depending kind of on what they do with the tight end, which is why another, uh, another thing that I want to show is if they are truly going to be in this cover four base press and they're going to use our crossing route. What we can also do is we can check down to this tight end right in this spot where that hook curl is going to have to vacate to go guard the crossing route on the play. So this play is just fully equipped to attack a lot of different defenses. I want to show this uh, real quickly against cover two Mabel because a lot of people um, that you face online will be running some variation of cover two Mabel. Again, this is basically what you're going to see. Now, one of the things that is very common is for people to man up the tight end because they're trying to stop verticals and then their user is going to have to go to the crosser. So it might look something like what we're showing you here. If you get a defense that looks like that and they're going, they're kind of following the tight end, typically the middle is going to be wide open to any other receiver on the field. So what you'll see is the Mabel coverage goes, and we can check down to the curl route right in the middle of the field if they do decide to use her the route over the top. This is an incredibly effective and simple play that probably most of you have in your playbook that if you truly master this passing concept, it can really open up your offense because they won't be able just to sit in a double Mabel and try to get sheds to stop you. Now they're gonna have to do some other stuff. Thanks for watching the video. If you wanna take your Madden game to the next level and get my full eBooks, join the Patreon. I guarantee it's gonna help you become a better Madden player. It's only 10 bucks. You can sign up by heading down to the description and clicking the link down below.